Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to use the No Man's Sky standalone Blender app. Uh, for this you'll have to download the No Man's Sky editor as well. So we'll go through all them steps, uh, show you how to use them, uh, how to import and export your bases to No Man's Sky. Uh, show you a few features in the Blender app and stuff like that. So hopefully you'll enjoy this video and uh, earn a like and a sub if you're not subbed already. Uh, with that all being said guys, let's get on with the video. So what we're going to do first guys is download the NMS editor. Uh, I've already got it on here but I'll show you where to get it from. I've got to say before we start, I have got No Man's Sky on uh, Steam and on Xbox Game Pass. I couldn't get the Xbox Game Pass to work with the editor, so I'll not be doing that. I don't know if there's a way that you can do that, uh, but I couldn't figure it out. So I got No Man's Sky on Steam, uh, just so I could use Blender, because it is really, really worth it. Uh, so anyway, we'll, I'll show you how to get No Man's Sky editor. You need to go to uh, github.com forward slash goat fungus forward slash NMS save editor. Uh, download that. I think you go go to file. Uh, I've already got it downloaded, so but there is a button on here to download. But if you've not already got it downloaded, uh, so just download that from here. Uh, I think I think it's ah it's on code there. Click that code. Go to download zip. Download it and then install it, guys. Uh, and then that'll bring you up with uh, this NMS editor here. What we can open like this and this should just pick up your steam account with your saves so look we've got slot one creative i've only got one save on it so if you've got more than one save it'll say slot, like slot two slot three uh if you name your saves it'll always, it'll also come up with that as well uh so it'll come up with your most recent save which is this one uh you've got all these backups as well but usually you want to go with top one really uh there's loads of things you can do in this save editor. You can uh, change uh, how much money you've got, stuff like that. You can unlock all the Twitch drops, all the expedition parts, uh, everything. These pre-order things you can unlock as well. Yeah, there's, there's loads of stuff you can do. You can upgrade your pets, your squadrons, ships, multi-tools, exosuits. Uh, I just got like unlimited, unlimited quicksilver nanites units on this because uh, I've already done it all before on PlayStation and Xbox and that. I'm not doing it again. I just want to use this for building. You can unlock all glyphs if you don't know them. You, you can do everything on it. Uh, but for this video, we'll be going to edit and we want to edit raw JSON like that. And you want to find player state data. Uh, we'll press this. What you what you want to have done first is go and place a base computer in No Man's Sky. Uh, name it, whatever you want, uh, and then come to this. Play a state data. Go down to persistent player bases. If you're finding it hard to find, look for all these chests. And it's two above that, so we click on persistent player bases, click that little arrow, and mine's the second base I've put down. Uh, well, I'm wanting to edit, so it'll be this one, because uh, this is the second number, obviously. So, number one, and what we want to do, you can see name it name here, the circle city, which is what I've called it. So, we're going to press on this, and we're going to press Control A, which is select all, and then Control C. And that's that part done, guys. That's all you need to do with editor. So that's what that's it, uh, basically. Uh, keep that open. And then we what what we want to do is the next part of the video. We're going to be downloading the NMS Blender app. So here we go. So to get uh, NMS Blender app, we want to go to. Uh, nexusmods.com forward slash no man's sky forward slash mods forward slash 2598 and it'll bring up this no man's sky base building app uh, as you can see it, it's it's a really cool app uh, really well made it's got everything you need in it 
Uh, so you just want to go to manual download with this. Uh, see, we've already got that. Save editor. So we can ignore that and just press download. Uh, and then click on slow download. It doesn't take long at all. When it's got, once it's got into downloads, install it. And uh, then we can go on to it like this. No Man's Sky Base Builder. And it'll bring up the program. Now, because we've already got that copied out with Save Editor, what we can do is go onto this, import, click on here, and what we want to do is press Control and V to paste, and we'll import it. See, I've already done this uh, in Save Editor. You'll just have a base computer, so all this will be uh, be gone. You'll literally just have base computer when you start, guys. Like that. But then what we can do is build stuff in this. And when we've built what we want, we can uh, export it back into a save editor. And that'll be as No Man's Sky game. Uh, so let me show you a few different things you can do. Uh, this is a, a view controls uh, and a help thing up here. And also a community tab where you can go into the Discord community for this app and people have put in prefabs what you can put into your game there's like a, a big dragon what someone's done there's uh, that big uh, robot what you saw a second ago on on blender website uh, but yeah a few things you can do you can all if you hold all and left trigger you can rotate uh, all and right trigger zoom in and out if you if you move your mouse left and right while you uh, moving if you press a it centers your screen to your main part base which we already do anyway uh control and d duplicates any parts you've got so i'll show you that now so if we put down a large storage we can click on that if we press control and d it'll duplicate it we can move that duplication left or right forwards backwards you just click on what arrow you want up and down if you hold your left mouse it helps you move it you start off with this usually these arrows left right up down forward backwards if you press e on your keyboard that brings out this rotation one which can rotate it rotate it any direction you want like this uh, and then r is the resize where you just click on it and then you move your mouse up and down while holding right uh, left mouse key so we can resize that to any part with any size we want you can also resize with a scale on the right hand side of the screen here uh, and you can rotate and stuff using that rather than so if you want to say rotate to 90 degrees it's best to do it on the side here because uh, that'll do it for you rather than mess about so you can delete by just clicking it and pressing delete. So say so here, yeah, rotate 90 degrees. That'll be perfect, 90 degrees. Uh, if you want to rotate it on its side like this, 90. See, so that'll turn it flat on its side. And you know you've got it perfect if you use these on the side here. Uh, I don't really mess about with translate, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not uh, bothered with that. Uh, but it might be something you want to look at, guys. What I do like in this is uh, see we've got these uh, prefabs here, so you can add prefab like that. These are actually my prefabs. It's a good thing to have. Uh, to keep an eye on your prefabs because it stops having to build stuff over and over again in Blender. So say if, if we make... So with prefabs, guys, it's... Uh, say if you make some, it really helps out in the long run. It saves you so much time and energy doing stuff like this. So say if we make some, say... Uh, just, just some of what we we really like, like say we put down a terrarium, and then we we put some trees coming out of that. Like that. Put a couple of 
palm trees as well and we want to save that I mean this is just a, a little example guys of what you can do so we put a few palm trees here as well and we've got this terrarium there Uh, what we can do is we can select that we can save as a prefab put as uh, tree one there and then every time that we're in every time we're in this we can just load a prefab which comes down here, all your prefabs go into the bottom here and we've got tree plant and we can just put that straight into his base and here it is paste object, so you go on properties then click paste objects to scene and now we've got his tree planter in there we can move all that over here towards the uh, centre of his base like this Have it next to us thing here, and we can also duplicate that. So we can have like four of them. They didn't save so much time as you can see. Like that, and then what we can do, guys, is export that into as No Man's Sky. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Uh, so if click export. I want to click on this, click uh, Old Control and A which will select all and then control and C to copy and now that's copied and now we want to go back into his No Man's Sky uh, editor which is still on here we click on this we want to in fact I'll, sh I'll show you from the beginning just to have a refresh so we want to go edit edit raw JSON we want to go on player state data go down to uh, persistent player bases which is two up front chests if you can't find it click on number one because that's the actual one what we're editing at the minute uh, it tells you the circle sitter so you'll always know if you're editing the right one or not uh, press ctrl and a to highlight it all and then ctrl and v to paste this into his game and I will press x and it'll say do you want to save so we say yes and then we want to go to uh, main save changes and now that I've saved it into his No Man's Sky game and what we're going to do is uh, on the next section of this video is load up No Man's Sky and show you you're uh, actually in No Man's Sky so let's get on with that so we've loaded No Man's Sky up guys we're going to play game uh, as you can see it says within the circle city we're going to load this and them tree planters should be in the exact same position around as base computer as uh, what we put in the blender program and then i'm going to show you how to add stuff in no man's sky and then export it into blender in like near enough real time uh, it's, it's basically the same process but it's worth going over it again uh, just so you guys can see it so look here we go We've got his base computer, his planters with his trees in. Obviously, this was just a rough uh, video, guys, to show you concept and how you can do stuff. Obviously, you'll make these a lot neater and better uh, when when you do it yourselves. I'm going to show you something what I made after as well. Uh, so if we delete these, just say we delete two of them, just for the sake of the video. And in their place, we're going to put two of these. And we're going to put some other stuff about just so you can see what happens in Blender. We'll save. And now that's saved, we can go back into as a Blender, not as Blender app, as a Save Editor. Like this, what's still open. And it'll say, Save File has been modified externally. Would you like to reload?
Now all changes you made in the edit will be lost. You press yes. Edit, edit well, Jason. It's good to keep going on for it, guys, so uh, you get angry. Uh, player state data. Go down to persisted player bases, which is two up from chess. Uh, number one, because that's the one we're doing. Control A, Control C to copy. Go into building app, import, Control V, import like that, and this chain that's obviously changed everything to what we've got in game now. Uh, so that's how you do that. Quite simple and, and easy, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's basically how you import, export. Uh, I will say once you change something in here. And do it the other way. So if, if we put a, a glass floor in like that. A glass corridor. I'll just put it high up here so we can see it in game. Once we do uh, export this into the game. Like that, export, control A, control C. Well, if we go back into our uh, edit and, our, and put this back into our thing like this. It'll ask you if you want to save. Which say yeah. Click X on that, and then click Save Changes. And now we want to go into the game and press Start. When we reload, that should be in the sky now, that glass corridor. So that's if that's the opposite way around if you're doing it like that. Uh, I'm going to show you a few more features in the base building app as well. Uh, after this, so so as you can see, that's up there now. So you can easily get stuff in and out of uh, uh, No Man's Sky quite quickly using using that app. Uh, I'll show you a few things in the next section of what you can do actually doing that app using circles and spheres and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get on with that. So I just want to finish the video guys by showing you a couple of things you can do in Blender app, a couple of extra things and uh, some stuff I made as well. So one of my favourite things what you can do in here, which is really really helpful to build and, uh, and it probably makes it really quick to build like uh, circular structures and like circular walls and stuff, is this. You can have the circle generator. Uh, sphere generator, grid generator. I've not really used a grid generator yet, so I'm gonna let you guys uh, mess about with that. But circle generator is is absolutely amazing for making a circular wall around your base, or or, or, or you want really. Where uh, when you first click it, you come up with this. Uh, you can change the number of parts to th up to thirty parts like that. Uh, you can change the size of each part to make them taller, smaller. Uh, that obviously makes them wider as well as tall. Uh, this adds parts onto the top like that, so you can make like a cylinder, like so, which is quite helpful. Uh, you can change the part piece by clicking this base part here, and you can choose whatever you want. So if you want it as a shelf, you can <laughs> make shelves. You can use, you can pick any base part you want to do this. Uh, for this, I'm, I'm just going to make a, a quick wall around for around my base. Uh, after you've made this, obviously you'll do the same as what I've showed you with the importing exporting uh, thing. So if we get a wall, uh, wall B, we'll go for like that. You can obviously scale it. You can uh, space it so you can make it a lot bigger like this. Uh, if you want it to join up, you'd have to make them taller. Uh, or make more parts, make them smaller like that. So that would be a big, big wall around your base. And then you can just press paste objects to scene, and that would be an actual wall. And uh, just to show you the scale of that, uh, we'll put a biodome in the centre. Uh, just so you to have a look. So it's quite a big a big wall around your base, you can get a lot of stuff in in that, you can obviously make them even bigger uh, to do that you'd have to you'd have to start with one like this, if you didn't want it higher but you wanted it uh, wider you'd have to 
You've got circle generator. Pick your part, obviously. Uh, make a space amount like this. You can, you could make it so it is it fit in like that many. And then you could press duplicate. So Control and D. So that's duplicated it. We'll press E to rotate, and then we could just rotate each one like this. And make a good wall like that. So we'll duplicate a few times, and that's like a lot wider than than what we had before. Uh, as you can see, if we put in uh, a dome now, you can see that that's a lot, lot wider. We could we could make it even wider than that. We could space them out, click each one, and go to, go to wherever you want really. Just make sure that you. They're joining up. What well, once you have got them all in position, what you want to do is is click on each one. I'm not gonna mess about with this too much, guys, because obviously you could click on each one and just make them exact same. So you could put nine six O, and the next one you could put. 960 and then next one what 960 and that one you've got 960 and then you know that they're all in the right thing here and we could just duplicate one more to get rid of that gap there then we've got a right big one and once you're happy where they all are you can click on it and you click paste objects to scene like that And that's your wall around your base. So that's one thing. Obviously, there's a a circle one, a sphere generator as well, which will just do that and make a nice sphere for you. Uh, that's quite a good a good tool to use. You could obviously make that thirty like that. Try and make it look as good as you can. You can do basically you same as what I've just uh, showed you on the last one. Obviously, you, that uses a lot more pieces up. You've got your total part part count here as well, guys. Tells you how many pieces you've used in game. Uh, but we're going to delete that. We're going to delete that. I'm going to show you what I made on my last base. I actually, did a base tour of this. So make sure you save stuff as well and save prefabs all the time as you go along. But I actually made uh, this as one of my bases. I actually, all I did in, in this program was I made this bit and the actual structure and these towers uh, and the underneath in this program. And that all took me about half an hour to do to do all that. And that's all, all it took me. And then I imported that into the No Man's Sky game and then all these little buildings and that I actually made uh, in like normal building in No Man's Sky uh, and I think it turned out re really really well to be honest with you guys look at it it's uh, say it was my first build that I've used Blender on I think it, it, it turned out pretty good but uh, I'm going to leave you with that anyway let you have a play about hopefully you've enjoyed the video and it's been helpful uh, if it has, please leave a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already guys, hope you're having a great week and I'll see you on the next one, take care.